Hi YouTube, I am back with another pick a card. Okay, I'm gonna try to make this quick, but as always, this takes a long time anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna try to uh, get the rest of the signs out as well. Also, um, yeah, you might see a lot of candles because my power has been a little like flickering and it's not just my house, it's areas, um, neighborhood and the area I live in, it's very, very suspicious if you ask me. Um, I thought I was going through, you know how sometimes you can affect the, your own electricity? But no, it was the whole area. I was like, what, what, what's going on? Like, I thought it was me. Anyways, um, <laughs> it wasn't, thank God. <laughs> but um, yeah, I have all my candles out. It's not night, but last night I, I pulled them out just in case because I was home alone and I don't like being home alone when the powers go out. Um, the power goes out. Anyways, let's get started here. I'm going to get a collective. Also, have a have some kind of situation in your, or in your mind. These are just answers for you. It's not like a specific question. Some of you might have a question and you might get some insight on it. Um, I don't know if you're going to get a definite answer, but you'll know you'll get, you know, in a, some sort of message from it. Okay. So let's get a collective message. And I'm sorry if I'm rambling. I can admit that when I'm fasting, I do ramble. And sometimes it's very difficult for me to get the words of the feelings that I have, the vibes that I get from the cards. Okay. So let's see. But trust me, that doesn't stop me from rambling. <laughs> doesn't stop me from rambling. The coffee doesn't stop, okay? <laughs> let's see. Collective. What do they need to know here? Ooh, the royal you. I don't use this much because a lot of the cards give me the same message i feel but i love the art okay the royal you so I'm, it's from the oracle of the seven so i'm gonna look it up so i don't which i already get empress vibes emperor vibes uh, vibes you know um being having your crown being confident knowing who you are what you bring to the table you're the queen of all queens the king of all kings that's what i'm getting like you've learned or you're letting go of things you know you're taking responsibility having that it is that see self-confidence self-rule ownership of your own feelings and actions a quiet sense of empowerment uh, being self-aware and not allowing outside influences out of alignment with your truth standing in your truth um, knowing who you are you know and not letting other people trying to belittle you i've seen that a lot especially on tiktok that's why i don't go on there um even with sad because you um uh, recently i've been stuck in this sad vibe thing on there so i just don't get on anymore um especially when there's a sad moment there's always somebody that has to ruin it for the creator you know for the one that is posting so don't let nobody bring you down because it kind of seems like there is something within them that bothers them about you. Like it bothers their spirit. Okay, so um, that's why I say that if you are going to do something, make sure that you're doing it with good intentions. Because if you get backlash or you're getting something, you know who you are and it doesn't bother you. But you might bother irritate other people's spirit okay so there might be some challenges but it it does it is also there might be challenges in your life like there is now everybody has them nobody's perfect nobody has a perfect path um so just know have that mindset that you can overcome whatever you're going through okay so there's going to be challenges in your life at this time you could be going through one no matter how large or small must be met with a measured response the way you approach it the way you respond to it your actions the way that you're also um your mindset okay 
if lights if life sends you a challenge can you speak up and set your boundaries with grace and surety calm intelligent leadership is called for now okay so calm and intelligent leadership yeah that's another thing you know <laughs> um remaining calm the way that you're you're approaching something okay so let's get going here with your four piles we're gonna start here with the clear quartz heart purple angel red heart and the clear quartz angel the amethyst is here too i mean okay i don't know if i said this at the beginning okay let's see what we have Clear quartz heart. Let's see what we have for you. Balancing masculine and feminine energies. Allow your feminine side. Bring out the creativity and your masculine side confidence. Within the next few months, God of the Arts. The artist within you is about to emerge. Ooh. Dead ends. Okay, now I get it. If you've been going through a healing process right now, it is taking some time to balance your masculine and feminine energies, okay? But you will be seeing something. There's a lot of cre creative creativity um, energy here. Within a, f a few months, you will see something. Once you start balancing your own energies, you might be going through some kind of healing process right now <clears throat> and ending. Yeah, you have dead ends here twice. You have endings and dead ends. Okay. Let's see. We have Archangel Raphael. Let's see. So, you know with endings, we... We bring... We have a lot of anger, a lot of resentment, a lot of hurt, a lot of... That's with any... You know, if you're healing, you're needing to let that go. It kind of seems like if you are going through some kind of ending, it's time to give yourself that 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 period to heal. Give yourself a few months to get to get into, you know, give yourself a few months to balance out your energies, okay? Because when you're ending, you're kind of cutting cords with something here and it's like Something you've invested in, something that you feel attached to. There's always energy cords um, that you're. Okay, sorry guys, I need to drink some water. Mm. Okay. So some of you are probably going through some healing phase right now. But if you're still in that healing phase, if you still feel some kind of resentment, some kind of. It just takes a while, guys. I can't stress that enough. It takes a while. Right now, it kind of seems like a lot of people are awakening. They're taking things a lot more serious um, and taking their healing process a lot more serious. You know, it's it takes time to be ready and jump jumping into something else. Um, so if it's taking a while for you, know that right now you're being given this this time to close the door on something give me more on this healing i'm gonna start on this side i don't know why i want to give me more on this healing yeah i feel like you're needing to really commit to yourself wow some of you after this healing you are coming across a new beginning but in love you some of you need to commit to self-love first though okay getting that too but i feel like once you you have closed the door on something and you've healed you've given yourself that self-love you've mastered your emotions you know you've um learned exactly what you you exactly what you want in life how you want love setting your boundaries being very clear with the universe what is it that you seek for 
that is healing that's giving yourself self-love too and i feel like someone here is going through that and you will be coming into i don't, I don't know why i wanted to start here but that's what came up and it's like committing to yourself in that way you you are attracting love okay a commitment somebody to give you reassurance why because you're healing give me more of this endings and dead ends for some of you if you're not here for love um you're you're really putting this commitment on you mm -hmm. yeah it, it says the artist within you is about to emerge yeah i feel like you are give me more on this dead ends look at that angel of destiny something here is closing out it's the end of a cycle it could be a relationship a job a project um could be anything but some of you need to accept it oh and that could be very very difficult to do but you have the support of your angels there is something that you're needing to close out you have learned a huge lesson for some of you too it could be oh, of course an ending to a soulmate connection but i feel like your angels are supporting this <clears throat> sorry give me more of this um artist within you wow victory you are going to rise above this and your creative side is going to emerge you yourself maybe you you're even going to go through some kind of transformation you're going to want to change yourself your image the way that you're thinking thinking a lot more logically more clear and being clear with the universe of what really you want um like i said here within the next few months what is this about for some of you, if you close the door and you really have mastered those emotions, you've gone through the dark side of your shadow side, you know, you've healed from that, you are ready for this true love, this victory in your life. I don't want to make it about love, but it could be that you are ready for whatever is next, okay? Could be anything, could be love, could be um, just your creative side getting into something that you love um yeah what is this within the next few months yeah see creative side okay getting into that confidence mode that queen king mode you know having that um confidence to go out there your your power you're going to feel this empowerment after you've healed. We're not really always healed completely. We're all human beings, you know. But getting to that point where you feel like you're ready, confident enough to go out there and do what you need to do. Start creating the life that you want to live. Wow, angel of blessings. Putting up boundaries, living with integrity within a few months you know some of you are probably going through it okay maybe you got out of something really really um difficult but you're getting there okay it's just a phase that we have to go through give me more of this ametrine balancing masculine and feminine energies yep i feel like some of you are are manifesting with this kind of vibe you're manifesting security security stability and maybe even somebody very generous very generous with you but i feel like it's more of you putting in the the creativity into something to tell you the truth i have creativity here as well maybe learning something maybe learning or manifesting stability um, why? Because this king is kind of painting, polishing, or painting their pentacle there. So, I feel like you're kind of transmuting the energy and bringing something 
good out of it okay so within a few months you're gonna be feeling this confidence or doing these few months okay little by little take day at a time if you're still going through this healing phase you're gonna reach some kind of um victory here but i mean more of the feeling yeah but you're needing needing also to let go of control right now okay cutting down and you know that control wanting to hold on or wanting to control the situation wanting to control an ending wanting to um how do i say yeah letting things fold un unnaturally i mean naturally i don't know why i said that <laughs> okay so mm -hmm. things are gonna start turning around for you okay there is a, a period of transition here big time so that is what i have here i'm gonna take out one more because this is kind of the same message here got it twice and i didn't expect that so let's see any omens and signs for this pile going through this healing phase if you're trying to manifest stability security here you're going to it's gonna happen abundance see i told you it's gonna happen it's time to celebrate the arrival of abundance in your life good news could arrive after all this closing the door making a de final decision for you um for your own good this could be financial blessings spiritual wealth higher learning or mastery with a project you've been working hard to complete you are about to receive the rewards of your efforts the fruit of your labors have ripened for harvest wow yeah you're manifesting something and the more that you give yourself you commit to yourself you commit to something that you love the more you get that support from the universe your angels okay so that is what i have for this pile okay so we have scorpio sag water leo taurus air gemini virgo earth okay so that is what i have look at that ace of pentacles abundance okay let's keep going okay purple amethyst second pile here easy easy does it sapphire your health happiness and abundance require a gentle approach to life and work okay so i'm also getting balancing life and work okay we have weight I always feel like this angel is is bringing the message of waiting there is something here make being cleared out for you like you'll soon be seeing some kind of clarity you'll get some kind of insight that's what i always feel with that okay so angel of joyfulness something wondrous and magical is about to happen wow so if you have been wondering what to do what to do or what's going on maybe you feel confused in the situation just wait it out okay approach i'm always, i've been using that word a lot i feel <laughs> i don't know why just wait it out and things will become clear okay because something here is coming the angel of joyfulness something wondrous and magical is about to happen okay don't be in a hurry to make something happen okay um we have teamwork the time has come to consider partnering with others to complete a task project or bigger goal this is a time to be open to other people's ideas input talents delegating task maybe you need to delegate or assistance is coming from spirit help is on the way yeah i feel like help is on the way because i feel like with weight i don't know if you're trying to rush something but just 
hang on okay i feel like your angels are on the way like they maybe you've also um asked for something or you've you've prayed for something okay we have receiving frequency yeah i feel like you're very connected right now receiving frequency brings a message of being connected aligned to your purpose or something that you've how do i say um how, like staying inspired using your vibration really believing praying um yeah and staying true to yourself because now i see divine justice is here okay staying true to yourself divine justice also brings a message that things look at that they have both two swords there some of you have gone through some kind of um transformation or your your whole life is gonna be in transformed in some way Mm -hmm. whatever you've issue that you've been going through whatever in your life it's gonna turn around okay but right now divine justice is here to remind you that things have to play out the way that they need to right now like something has to happen in order to, for you to get to where you want to be mm -hmm. it's like just hang on things are being aligned for you things are coming into fruition we just have to do a couple of more things before you can get there like and i'm also getting divine justice as in whatever has happened in the past it will be repaid okay it will there is always consequences for everything you know it could it, for those of you that don't believe that that there is a good and bad there's also lessons when something bad happens or when something happens to you you have to kind of learn from it that is a consequence so because i've gotten that before where people don't believe you know i've it's like wow you must be you know you must i didn't how do i say it yeah some people don't believe that there is a good and the bad there's always a consequence there's a cause and effect and there is there is nothing goes unbalanced um even you being true to yourself that brings balance to a situation okay is this upside down oh yeah sorry <laughs> okay let's see what is this easy does it What is this easy does it that's sapphire i feel like this group is coming into some kind of an al alignment like you're trying to balance your life out or you need to balance your life out see uncertainty maybe you are in that two minds of something like you don't know what's gonna happen you're kind of seeing but you're kind of also blocking yourself okay so wow so they really want you i feel like some of you are trying to find your independence you know really being happy mm -hmm. and you're kind of blocking yourself from that you need yeah maybe you have a lot going on too but i feel like your health happiness and abundance it requires a healthy balance here from you okay it requires for you to approach life in a very um how do i say knowing how to balance life and work could be work career anything you know you could be two minds of something and that's why you're here you don't know Let's see what is this weight what is this weight wait some of you are just it kind of seems like 
there is something that is not working out like you've realized something and you want more you want something that is emotional fulfilling and i feel like spirit is is asking you just wait a little longer it's coming you know things will work out i don't know if you are rebuilding something right now or you're trying to get to your ten of cups but it will okay maybe you've gone through some kind of enlightenment an epiphany saying why wait, wait i need more i need to go towards more but i feel like right now it's not a time to do big decisions yet it's interesting give me more of this angel of joyfulness like don't be so much in a hurry because it could crash and burn kind of thing you know not literal but let's see what is this angel of joyfulness something's coming in there is just shift here see divine justice again I feel with the six of pentacles sometimes it gives me the vibe that it's actually the universe that is telling you look you've given this much you've been a service to others you've been there for others you've been doing this you've been there and something good is going to come back to you and that's what I feel with this see it takes a lot of your maybe you've been giving too much and maybe you've I want to say some of you have been burned, have been done wrong before. A lot. Well, a lot of you, everybody has been done wrong before. But it kind of seems like whatever you've gone through, challenges or whatever, is going to be repaid back. Things are going to balance out. Something good is going to come out of it. But it's up to you to be determined to go towards your It kind of seems like you've been putting in your all into something. And since you're not seeing something come into fruition. Yeah. You're kind of wanting to make a kind of like a decision or of some sort. So just have some patience. I'm getting... If you've been determined to do something in your life and you've been giving it your all, you're also needing to balance yourself out, okay? It was kind of a little confusing, sorry. I don't know. It's going to reson it's going to resonate to those that understand it cuz sometimes you have to be in that person's shoes. You know, since I'm not in your shoes, I don't quite understand it. <laughs> Give me more of this teamwork. I feel like you've always been there for a lot of people. And it kind of seems like you've put a wall up. Like, wait, when is my help going to come? And it it's coming. Okay, give me more of this teamwork. You're needing to let it go of things and let it fold unnaturally. Okay, have some patience. Yeah, you're holding on to the wheel. Let it go. I know it's easier said than done. I'm not trying to be insensitive, but there is help on the way. But you're needing to let go of this wheel, controlling this wheel. Okay. If it feels like nothing is, like the will is stopped and it's like nothing's really moving forward, that's because something has to happen in order for things to fall into place the way that you want them. Um, I don't think I'm explaining that right. It's like, okay, if you are waiting, okay, I have an example. If you're waiting on your significant other, the your life partner the one that you're going to marry the one that you're going to grow old with if you're waiting for that person and you don't even know them you have to have patience maybe that person is trying to get over somebody is trying to let go of somebody is trying to heal and get their trust back and in order for them to come crossing your path you know so that's what i'm getting like that kind of thing 
Um, I don't want to make it about love, but that's the only thing that comes to mind right now. Give me more of this receiving. What is this receiving frequency? So you have to be open with open arms, letting it unfold naturally. Don't be in such a rush, okay? I know I keep saying that, but it's being emphasized here. Vision. Yeah, you've been putting a lot of energy and time into something. And it's time. You've planted all the seeds already. There's nothing else more that you can do um, but be in that receiving frequency. Be, be in that vibe to receive freely. Letting go of trying to control it, you know. Mm -hmm. Six of Swords. There is going to be a resolution. You're going to be seeing this come in. Your vision. The vision that you've put out there. That you've been, all the seeds that you've been planting. It's going to come into fruition. You'll see some kind of resolution. It's kind of like letting it go. Same message. Okay. Give me more of this divine justice. Which Archangel Shamuel. I think that's how you say it. I can never say it is um this archangel it means he who sees god okay so this is uh it describes the meaning well it just just describes the meaning of um divine justice they see everything nothing goes unnoticed like i said wow Yep, nothing goes unnoticed. God, I almost want to cry. <laughs> whatever you've been determined at, whatever you've dedicated, you've planted all the seeds, you've been saving, you've been doing all the work, everything that needs to be done, whatever vision you have in your life, there is going to be something coming back toward with because you've worked for it already. You've paid it in all the your energy your time you planted all the seeds it's gonna come okay you go from the ten of cups to the ace of cups it could even be in in um love of course ace of cups but you giving yourself that justice that self-love as well going through a transformation um as yeah some of you have gone through a transformation you've kind of transmuted all the energy that you've gone through into something really beautiful and you will see the fruits of your labor okay some of you have given and given to the wrong people and divine justice is here to remind you it's gonna be given back it'll all be worth it okay that's what i'm getting so let me get one of these give me one more for the purple amethyst Say no. Hmm. Your guides and spirit have heard your prayers and questions. And they are suggesting for you to say no as you dis your decision going forward. Your path is important and your well-being matters. Now is not the time to take action. See? Wait for a better opportunity. Maintain high integrity. Strict ethics. And don't give in to peer pressure. See? I told you wait okay i'm also getting don't go back to the place where you lost your happiness i'm also getting that i don't know you're probably here for work because i do see a lot of pentacles career so if you're lo even in career you can lose your passion for it you know and go another way but say no um wait for a better opportunity wait wait somebody here needs to wait i don't know why that's what i'm getting Somebody needs to hear it, okay? So, 
I have a lot of pentacles, which is earth. You're very grounded. Um, but you will you will see something come, okay? So we have all signs here. Some of the major ones are Sag and Scorpio. Could be any for that matter, because we have the Wheel of Fortune too. Okay, so it could be any sign. So wow. Crazy. See challenges. You might be struggling with something right now. So just have some patience, okay? I know that is very difficult. That's my... I, I don't have patience at all. <laughs> Anyways, let's go. Let's go on to the next one. The red hearts. I feel like these are so short, but... Oh, well. Let's see. Red heart, the healthy communication and relationships. So some of you are probably struggling with heart-to-heart -heart discussions or or clear assertive communication. Okay, um, it will help you understand and be understood if you speak clearly. Okay, aqua aura, and then we have forgiveness. Okay. Goddess of, of psychic protection. What you believe, you create. No one can harm you. Okay, no one, nobody can harm you. Some of you are mystics or really use your intuition a lot. Um, but I feel like there is a lot of forgiveness. That Some of you... Hmm. I'm getting like... Some of you are hot-headed. <laughs> don't have to be but let's see we yeah we have two messages here already we have good health and lust okay so healthy communication some of you are a little bit hot-headed look at that lust and good health of course lust is not hot-headed but it gives me that fiery nature i mean that fiery so lust there is an energy of lust infatuation primal desire and risk of addiction possible um sex at it controlling others with the sex energy um or manipulation by using less for selfish gain okay so be careful with that okay this is an omen of a loveless exchange be careful who you share your energy with okay because Mm, I feel like I've said this before already mm, the last pick a card you have been working hard to take good care of yourself and it shows you are glowing so that's why you've been taking care of yourself or maybe you're needing to take care of yourself detox detox from the past forgive others cut those cords those um, I feel yearning maybe you're yearning for this again some of you are detoxing from the past, meaning you're cutting cords, you're not, you know, you're just letting go of the past, okay? And you're coming into, you're clearing your energy, okay? Keep consistent with your exercise routine, getting plenty of sleep, balancing your schedule, take time for play and re relaxation, really giving to yourself, but a good, um, good practice is also forgiveness letting go of those harsh energies that you feel for someone maybe you are still resentful there's some kind of resentment or you feel sad over someone letting go of those bad energies those are all negative energies that could bring you down okay maybe you're needing to really communicate with someone in a healthy way but being very clear okay very assertiveness or maybe having that heart-to-heart -heart conversation discussion with someone i don't want to make it primarily uh, like love but of course a lot of you do subscribe to me because of love but um we'll see what this lust is okay use your intuition and protect your energy but right now you're very you are being protected Feeling and form. This also brings a message of lust. Not lust, but yearning. Because you see all the moons here? Hmm. 
it's like you're needing to lift your energies feeling like something is out of reach that's what I'm getting with this mm -hmm. and shadow self whoa when you forgive someone you don't exactly have to call them up and say hey I forgive you mm -mm. you just forgive you just it's a process it's not one day from another you know it is a process to let go of that resentment that um anger whatever you're feeling okay some of you have to confront i'm getting goosebumps guys i don't know why sometimes i get those during it's been a while though um the shadow self sorry guys i needed to get i needed i shared something and i'm gonna cut it out that's why i I cut it um, because I didn't want to share how I faced my my shadow self so here I got the book instead and so I can better explain what the shadow self a lot of people don't know how to confront their shadow self there's a lot that you have to go through it's a process a lot of people don't want to confront their shadow self so I am getting it from the book. It says, this is a time of deep transformation for you. It is essential that you look within and face all the shadow aspects of yourself. You are currently in the process of liberating yourself from old illusions, fears, limitations, and hidden impulses. This is not an easy process, but one that creates deep and lasting change. Placing the power to direct your life completely in your hands there is an inner revolution occurring one which will create your outer revolution in your life okay so once we reflect on ourselves and um, we transform it seriously transforms your finances your work your relationships your health sometimes carrying this resentment carrying this hurt can also form manifest in a um manifest in a illness sickness or something like that so you always want to forgive others okay and let it go you don't have to physically go up to them and say hey i forgive you for you doing you can but it's also a process it's not an overnight thing you know and sometimes it is scary to really face our fears the way that we judge others too, I've noticed that when we judge others, it's something that something about them that irritates us. Um, that's what I've noticed. What that's what I've um, yeah analyzed pretty much. Okay, so I don't know if you've been going through this deep transformation. It does take some time. It's not an overnight thing. But some of you that have already been going through this, you are going towards this healthy communication, healthy relationship. You are aware of how to, um, what, you know, to kind of um, know exactly what emotional and lustful relationships are. Okay. Feeling and form. Hmm. So be receptive. Try to bring your vibes up as well. Don't get stuck in that kind of energy, too. Um, yeah. Okay, why do we have the shadow self here? Wow, Nine of Swords. The stress. Stress about the past. A soulmate dark night of the soul that's what i'm getting with that okay but you are being protected okay but you know even if you are it kind of seems like that um until you are healed you create everything starts lining up for you um not completely healed i don't believe that we're completely healed all the time um but 
you know, when you start healing, getting out of that shuttle phase. Let's see, what is this feeling and form? Progress, yep. There's stages, guys. Okay, there's stages to this progress. I mean, this um, forgiveness, healing, there's stages. Uh, we have two of wands, progress, making progress, you know, taking charge of your life. We have good health. I want to know what this lust is. It kind of seems like a devil energy is still surrounding you. Good health. Give me more of this good health. Yeah. Okay. If you are carrying on too much in your life right now, I know it's easier said than done. But you have too much going on. Um, whatever you've gone through, the burdens, everything that you're letting go, it's going to make you more powerful energy-wise. You're going to feel empowered here. Some of you are breaking some kind of cycle, like a past life. Like, I'm getting paying off your debts from a past life, like karmic debts here. Give me more of this lust. So if you've gone through all that, you're breaking breaking out of something from the past that you kind of have really learned the hard way. Give me more of this lust. This is not going to resonate for everybody, I'll tell you that. See? Angel of success. Breaking out of this. You're succeeding. You're breaking out. You're closing out this energetic lustful cycle of yours you're breaking out of it you're detoxing give me more of this world Wait. see a new beginning you're gonna feel inspired after this you're gonna get into something that inspires you a new project a new passion of yours a, a new job, career, a lot of fire energy. Give me more of this goddess of psychic protection. What you believe you create, no one can harm you. Okay, that's another thing for some of you that believe in, um, how do I say? I believe in the evil eye and because I do, I put more energy into it. I feel that. Um, I do protect myself um, energetic wise but for those I'm getting for those that are believing that maybe somebody put a curse on you did this did that on you you're being protected okay but don't feel that energy okay don't feel it okay partnership okay there is a partnership could be a friend sorry <laughs> collaboration i want to say collaboration um there could be a friend someone near you this is being protected okay somebody here is gonna notice you if you're here because of love somebody here you're gonna catch their eye but you have to have that confidence in this love this partnership i feel like you're getting over this so You are being protected here. Some of you are going to catch someone's eye though. It could be a Leo. Give me more of this forgiveness. Or someone with Leo in their chart. Forgiveness. Actually, give me more on this Two of Cups. What is this Two of Cups? It's going to vary for some of you. Oh, wow. Okay. You're going to get over this. I feel like you've finished some kind of cycle with a partnership. Somebody. Okay. Somebody you felt very close to. You're going to get over it. You're going to. You're going to get over it. That's all I get here. You're going to reach some kind of emotional fulfillment with someone else or somebody here. I don't know. I'm not going to talk about past or whatever okay so but there is a two of cups energy here 
Give me more of this forgiveness. Oh, yeah. Feel like you're getting over this emotional. Okay. And you do need to balance this energy out if you haven't forgiven the past. If there is still some trust issues, you feel jaded. Okay. Because whatever energy that you're in, if you still have trust issues, resentment, anger, it's not going to balance your how do i say it you're needing to balance your energy i know it's easier said than done but if you're still in this energy angels really want you to start forgiving that person okay once you start forgiving that present person and getting your peace back your balance you're being more patient then things will start manifesting for you you you'll start letting go of what you can't control you're being protected right now. What is this healthy communication? I feel like someone here is jaded big time. Some of you, somebody has brought the worst out of you too. And they came into your life to, to bring out that shadow self. To make you aware of this shadow that you need to work on. Okay. Seven of Cups. Confusion. Emotionally confused. Prepare for opportunities here. For a relationship. A healthy relationship. Prepare yourself. Something here is coming that could be confusing. But you need to really be clear with your intentions clear with your communication so you so you can be understood so you can understand them as well because there's a lot of confusion over this i don't know why what is this confusion celebration could be somebody wanting seeking the same thing or seeking to have fun reconnect could be and go out and have fun seeking that emotional fulfillment it's somebody here that wants is seeking for something healthy okay i feel like whatever is coming towards you it is something that could be healthy because you've been seeking for that for that if you've gone through this shadow self a side of healing your shadow side here give me more of the six of wands because that is a bit confusing so I'm just, and i can probably understand why because we have the seven of cups here Seeing things from a different perspective, recognizing your own faults as well, recognizing where you did wrong, recognizing um, why it didn't work out, okay? Because it kind of seems like the way that you are approaching something is not working out, but the, it takes two to tangle, okay? in a, every situation okay so how are you how were was the way that you were thinking the way that you approached it the communication your vibes the energy what you were fueling into it did what kind of contribution did you give to the situation too you have to also reflect on you you know and work on it what came in the way of this emotional fulfillment was it that you couldn't forgive that you couldn't trust that you weren't having getting having you know have had patience some of you yeah something like that i don't know who this is resonating with it's a bit confusing because i feel like some of you are confused we have the moon again the moon i mean not again but there is confusing confusion here of where to go 
you're seeking fulfillment you're seeking a partnership a healthy one but are you being true to yourself are you taking care of yourself are you letting go of the burden and really empowering yourself okay sorry this kind of feels a little harsh but that's what i'm getting okay only that person that is in that situation can understand it i don't because i'm not in that situation so <laughs> i don't know we have um taurus um pisces fire signs or fixed sign it doesn't have to be any of these but we do i do see scorpio airy i mean scorpio leo aquarius taurus and leo here pisces leo sag virgo okay took a lot of um pisces cancer there okay let's get one of more of these for you because this is so weird karmic justice Ooh, you need to let yeah see karmic justice um this is a time when all wrongs are being made right whomever has wronged you is about to receive their karmic justice allow karma to come full circle be patient ask for divine intervention to help you move forward trust in the process you are strong you are protected again learn from your mistakes see told you learn from your mistakes what you contributed to it don't make them twice okay so that is what I have. I spent a lot of time on this one. Oh, sorry. Fours. Number three's vibe always gives me strong, heavy energy. I'm not sure why. I feel like a lot of people choose three. Anyways, the clear quartz. Sorry, I'm rambling. I know. <laughs> we have let yourself sparkle and shine. You are ready. Angel of finances. Ooh, yeah finally a pile i like um honor and give thanks for the blessings you are about to receive you're going to be receiving a lot of blessings you look at this, this heart i mean heart what gold here empress emperor vibes here okay i like it revision maybe you need to revise renew you know mercury retrograde is coming mm look at all the the seeds you've planted you know take a second look at your circumstances revision is needed for your situation you don't have all the facts or information dot every i and cross every t don't rush the process because mistakes can be made changes made now will save time and energy later on some of you are going to be receiving some good blessings be you be patient some of you are pisces there, you know i'm also getting finances with this okay because in the lenormand um what is it fishes is also finances abundance peace Ooh. i feel like you if you are stressing you have to be at peace here really let go of things that you can't change okay be at peace with it um uh, i can't say this angel's name is it mel melchizedek i don't know is a divine mediator okay he serves to bring peace spiritual awakening and understanding of your life a uh, master of healing brings harmony okay so I'm getting it's time to get into you yourself bringing peace finding what brings you peace getting into your passions your own path you know whatever other people's or like if there's energy around you that surrounds you that is very chaotic a lot of people envying you you stay focused on your own path and that is all okay that's all you can do be true to yourself be you getting into your passions your talents um anything like discovering you yourself you know and nobody can tip you over once you know who you are you know um yeah 
especially on if you're on social media guys a lot of people are on social media you know i forget to i forget to um that there's readers that follow each other you know i forget that because maybe because i don't watch a lot of tarot <laughs> anymore um before you know there was that phase where you do get kind of addicted and it's not good for you but you know if you are on social media like tiktok geez there's so many people on tiktok and you make it you you get you go viral right away it's so interesting to me so be you don't let others tell you who you are because like i was saying at the beginning of this um reading the collective collective had a similar um energy it's like once you know who you are what you bring to the table you don't care what others think and wow social media could be brutal guys i've seen it on tiktok even in the most saddest um, videos that i've seen there's always rude nasty people okay but don't let those kind of people because there is something within you that irritates them that it just so you have to be very at peace of who you are being you you yourself your own talents using your own talents your own personality your own you know um it took me a while to understand that because ugh, i'm not good at being at the in the spotlight if you haven't noticed <laughs> so let's see there is something here that you need to revise i don't know if you already know this there is something maybe that you need to review renew or something within you maybe i'm getting more of you maybe you need to go through some kind of i don't know makeover the way that you're thinking the way you're going about things maybe cutting off people that don't serve your highest good um yeah because i'm getting let yourself sparkle and shine okay you're guided to be bold and show your bigger than life side to the world okay you're ready you're gold here something is being gifted to you once you dive into your own talents what you have a passion for you're gonna be gifted with some kind of gift from the universe okay that's what i'm getting with that um let's see you're probably already doing this this is what i'm feeling i don't sense any love here okay so i'm sorry if you're here for a love situation or an answer about love i see finances i see you becoming sparkling and shining yeah wow some of you are mystics here i see third eye opening I see it in four of these cards. Mm -hmm. Okay, give me more of this. Opal. Sparkle and shine. Maybe you're on TikTok or something. The Emperor. The Angel of Wisdom. Yep. Really empowering yourself. Taking charge. Maybe you're in work for the government work for you have your own business you have your own people you i don't know you're taking charge of your own life you've learned so much and you've leveled up or you're leveling up already Ooh, but something blocks you i don't know this uncertainty not knowing where you're going okay kind of you kind of step away from the spotlight like when you know you're you think you're going somewhere you have it all together you kind of stop yourself it's like you block yourself or something like that like mentally give me more of this you're ready yeah you've gone through some kind of transformation or you are look at that you're ready for the ultimate abundance here uh, which is happiness joy the angel of trans of happiness and angel of transformation there it's like your environment is about to ch to change once you change you've gone through a transformation your environment starts changing wow i love this give me more of this angel of finances oops i have it upside down 
Okay, decisions. Thinking with a clear head. Okay. Being logical about things. Also balancing. Yeah. Balancing yourself out here. Okay, don't be in a hurry as well. Don't keep yourself stuck. Go with your um, intuition. Some of you are into like spirituality. But this whole logical side of yourself... It kind of blocks your intuition okay whatever you're working on or whatever you're you've been kind of not certain I feel like it's because you're letting your logical side get the best of you like sometimes we don't have to see things we have to feel them out you know the, the king of swords would be the person that wants to see it material wise like they have to see something in order to have faith in it no I feel like you're needing to also go with your emotion not emotions your intuition and what you believe in give me more of this revision where some of you need to think logically about where you want to head and don't listen to others you know Stand strong on what you believe in. Four of Wands. Yep. Freedom. Celebration. Maybe you're trying to manifest. Um, what? Yeah. Some of you are trying to manifest stability, security. We have determination. You've been very determined. But maybe you need to revive some, revise or review something that is just not working out for you okay but I feel like there's changes okay you're gonna be feeling f free hmm changes made now will save your time I feel like maybe it's changes within you though can we more of this be you See, freeing yourself, freedom, freeing yourself from those that have different belief systems in you, freeing yourself from anything uh, toxic, toxic, um, yeah, from anything, you know, I'm getting toxic environment for some reason, that's for some of you, um, from people's way of thinking, people's belief system, and go with what you feel. If you feel attached to something as well, freeing yourself from this stress. There is stress because I feel like your angels are really wanting you at peace with you, yourself, and go with your what you believe in. There is luck on the way. If you've been working or studying something, there's luck on the way. Okay, there could be a promotion as well if you've been studying. But you need to free yourself from the, the stress and focus on you because you're kind of blocking yourself like I said give me more of this piece it keeps coming up so that's why I'm um, eight of wands moving forward that's why I'm repeating myself because it keeps coming up journeys give me more of this journeys journeys moving forward okay Part of your journey right now, oh, is really showing your integrity, standing true to yourself, and letting go of control, trying to control what others are thinking of you, what others are saying about you, your environment. Just focus on you, yourself, your peace. You know, um, that's why they say meditating is difficult for some people because you really have to release everything and it brings you back to you yourself in the moment okay being at peace and we have justice I feel like something here that maybe some of you are trying to save so you can move forward but you know money is just energy and if you're saving and you don't see anything moving forward it's 
kind of teaching you a lesson on how to let go money is just energy i had to learn the hard way guys we all go through cycles and some of us we get hit by karma you know like karmic lessons of money and doesn't have to be love some of us don't have that luck in money uh, like other people are but it kind of seems like there is something here that you're needing to learn in order to move forward you know if you're stressing over money it will it'll come but you're needing to really let go and let things unfold naturally i know that is so difficult to do i know i've been there it's difficult but i have to learn how okay bottom of the deck three of swords i haven't been looking at the bottom of the deck i but something pulled at me maybe some of you have gone through some kind of heartbreak it could be just stressing over something that you cannot control too um, because a uh, heartbreak is not necessarily the three of swords is not necessarily heartbreak like everybody says you know some people say it's third party which i never believe but anyways it's swords it's thoughts that come to you and it breaks your heart because it's maybe it's something that you really want but these thoughts interfere okay something is in your heart that you really want and these thoughts interfere okay so i feel like it's thoughts that interfere big time okay be determined review something and you're gonna find that stability okay this is very unique it's not love sorry okay so let's get one more for this group spirit guides one more for this group ritual mm. importance on rituals are being emphasized this can manifest in the form of habits sacred ceremonies spell work prayer and visuals the power of intention is immense. Mm -hmm. Set intentions for a desired outcome. For rituals already cast, an outcome is on the, on the way. So if you've already casted something regarding money, finances, your business, your stability, it's on it. The outcome is coming. Okay. Miracles, blessings, and answers are being made manifest. Okay. So you are manifesting something here. For some of you, you're probably have to go through some kind of rituals it could be anything as simple as um you know um affirmations prayers you know meditation any forms of habits you have to maybe you have to get up at four in the morning every day <laughs> something like that okay so that is what i have i do see a lot of fire a lot of determination i see earth i see capricorn libra taurus leo pisces aquarius scorpio um aries yeah that is what i have thank you so much and pisces that is what i have thank you so much again and take care of you bye